All right, let's talk about your environment. You know, like I talk about this a lot in my book, There's No Plan B for Your A Game. I talk about environment quite a bit. And there's a buddy of mine, actually Benjamin Hardy, who wrote a book called Willpower Doesn't Work. And it's all about like building the environment around you to achieve the success that you want, right? And I wrote it, uh, uh, a quote that he had in my book, and it goes like this. If you don't create and control your environment, your environment will create and control you. <laughs> if you don't create and control your environment, your environment will create and control you. So let's talk about this. It's really good, really good. Let's, let's use a couple examples. So say you wanna lose 50 pounds or you wanna lose 15 pounds, it doesn't matter. What matters is the approach that you're taking. What matters about you losing the weight is the environment. So if I wanted to lose 15 pounds and I put a chocolate cake in the middle of my kitchen, is that good for the environment of me losing 15 pounds or 50 pounds? Is that chocolate cake in the middle of the kitchen, do you think that's building a great environment for me to be able to achieve this this dream, this goal. No, it's it's the opposite of good. It is the worst, right? That's not gonna happen because the environment is too powerful. Therefore, you and me have to create the environment around our home, uh, in how it relates to our dream. So if I wanna lose some weight, I'm gonna clear all the junk food out of my cupboards, all the junk food, all the fattening foods out of my refrigerator. It's gonna be clean, healthy, food so that I'm not tempted because the environment is so strong that it will create my dreams for me. I don't want that. I want to create the environment so that my dreams come true of losing the weight so the cakes and the junk food has to go, okay? Let's use another example. Say you want to be a world-class sprinter. You want to be one of the fastest human beings on the planet. On the planet. Who are you going to surround yourself with? Who are you going to train with? Are you going to train with a bunch of overweight, slow running people? No. Are you going to train with a coach who doesn't know anything about speed and is not fast him or herself and has never run in the Olympics? No. That would be building a bad environment for your dream. Your dream is to be world class in the, in the art of speed, right? So who do you have to surround yourself with? Who do you have to surround? How do you build an environment of speed around you? Think about it for a second. You better surround yourself with some of the fastest people on the planet. Wouldn't that make you faster? Yes, because the environment now has raised the standard and you will adapt to that new standard and you will become faster. If you train with a, a sprint coach that trains world-class sprinters, guess what you will become after a while. Also, there'll be nutrition involved, correct? There'll be recovery involved, correct? There'll be all kinds of ice massage and, and uh, you know, body, body work. There'll be cryotherapy. There'll be all kinds of things that will come into your environment that you're gonna have to build if you wanna reach world-class speed. But you and me are just white knuckling this. Think about this, say you wanna be a top CEO. Do you surround yourself with a bunch of slackers, right? You don't, right? You, you surround yourself with the best. You get a coach who's the best, who sees you clearly. Build your environment exactly equivalent to you being on top. If you notice the people that you admire that are on the top, whether they're athletes or, or artists or musicians or, or, you know, business people, they usually have a coach, right, that's in their environment. They have somebody that has clear eyes watching them, coaching them, seeing them accurately. They have certain nutrition, they have certain chef or cook, somebody that's making that food. They operate at a high, high level because their environment is built that way. That's what I want you to do. Think about your own environment and then think about your dreams in relation to that environment and can you make those things come true? Well, it's gonna be really tough if your environment is flying directly in the face 
of your dreams because it'll be too tempting. Eventually, you'll opt for the chocolate cake instead of the dream of losing 50 pounds. Get out there, build your environment. You just have to declare what you want to be the best at, then build the environment around you so that you can fulfill on that dream.